Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to export data from Stata into Excel. In order to do so we'll begin by loading the Census 13 data set that comes preloaded in Stata. And as you can see it's a data set about the demographic qualities of the states including birth rate, population, and so forth. The very first thing that I'd like to show you is just kind of the vanilla version if you don't have to worry about you know different sheets or special circumstances in your export but you have a pretty simple data set and you just want to get into Excel without a lot of tweaking you're just going to use the export Excel command and the key part of this command is actually your path it, it for, for a lot of people for a lot of Windows users in particular you might not know your path and in order to maybe get around that the first time what you should do is go to file export data to Excel spreadsheet and then you can just use this box over here to you know create the name of the Excel file that you want save the variable names to the first row and so forth and what what it does when you use that box for the first time is Stata will actually generate the Excel file and also show you your path uh, this is a, this is one of the great benefits of Stata for almost every single um, aspect of the program that gets accessed through the menu over here once the command is executed you get the corresponding syntax the code um, that shows up right over here and so that's really a way to teach yourself you know how to use code and syntax and stata properly now that being said these tutorials are very code and syntax centric because i think that's the best way to learn stata or any statistical program where that capacity is available so i'm going to just use this code i've highlighted it for you and how you could replicate this code for yourself is within the parentheses here you would just enter your own path so here I've entered my path to my desktop but if you were to modify this to your desired path the same thing would happen um, so let's go ahead and generate that and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna generate a whole bunch of these and second after that I'm gonna open up the Excel files uh, one by one and show you what they look like now here notice that I didn't I didn't do any uh, changes to the data I just went ahead and had the entire census 13 data set moved over to Excel and I did add on this command because most of the time you're gonna want the first row in your Excel spreadsheet to have the variable names on it it's rare that you don't want those labels now if you didn't want them you could leave this omitted let's go to the next kind of tweak of this command and here's the code that I've added I've added in 5 slash 25 and what that does is it just includes in this export the data that are in uh, rows in observations 5 through 25 in Stata and I'm just going to show you those again so basically we would start with California and go down to Missouri so what that command did was it just isolated those um, you know those states to look at I want to show you a few more variations of that because especially if you're working with larger data sets it, I think it's helpful to know how to just export subsets of them so something else I did here I just added if region and then two equal signs together one and what this does is it's just going to show me the Northeast results in this data set uh, Northeast is coded as region one so if let's say all I want to do is you know export Northeast that's the way to do it and then finally I'm going to show you a way to export more than one quantity here and apologies as if this gets broken over into two lines but I think you can still see it here I've gone ahead and changed that command a little bit I've said that I want the results if the region equals one or if the region equals three uh, and region 3 being south and region 1 being northeast and I want you to notice something else I've given all of these and this might be a simple thing but I, I think it's still worth mentioning I've given all of these files slightly different names see this one was had no uh, you know additional numerical identifiers but this one is underscore 1 this one is underscore 2 this one is underscore 3 and the reason that I've done that is if if you don't you'll just overwrite your file and you might not want to do that every time you might want to look at different files so here I'm just going to be opening up my version of Excel sort of one by one so you can see what I did this is the very first version 
which has data on all of the states. It's unmodified, and as you can see here, we have the variable names in Stata faithfully replicated here in Excel. Now let's go over to this modification here. This is where, uh, if you recall, I just asked for the states from California through Missouri, and we can verify that, in fact, that is what got exported into this version of Excel. Next, I wanted to look at the Northeast, if you recall, me telling you that. And here, as you can see, all the Northeast states have been uh, turned into their own subset here in this Excel spreadsheet. And then finally, I was looking at Northeast or South. And so as you can see here, this version of the export um, just delimited the results to South and Northeast. I, I do want to emphasize really quickly, if, if you do have more advanced needs for uh, exporting to Excel, the Stata documentation is, is very thorough, as, as always, about showing you, you know, what to do. I've shown you some of the, um, the characteristics of the export Excel function that are going to be most common. Uh, it's, I, I think it's very rarely that, you know, um, you'll be looking for, as, as a student, as a graduate student, for example, you'd be looking for more functionality than this. The very advanced export features start to become more attractive to actual data scientists or people in industry. But using these commands that I've given you, it's very easy to move um, Stata data sets around to Excel. And oftentimes, you'll be asked to do that. Um, you might have, for example, members of your committee who want to see the data, but they don't have Stata, for example. So it's, it's, it's a nice thing to be able to, to export to Excel, as Excel is a pretty much a universal format, lets anyone see what your Stata data sets look like. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.